Hey you guys, Happy New Year. Uh, let's see whose turn it is today. Uh, we just did Scorpio yesterday, so let's see. Taurus. Taurus will be next. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, I'm so sorry for not getting the readings out um, at the end of the year. I was spending time with my family and I just, it didn't happen. So my apologies. Alrighty. I'm going to do a five card spread that looks at five different areas of your life. Just to see what, um, you could look forward to this this year in those areas and then uh, toward the mid month I'll be doing the whole story readings for you okay let's see what we got we're going to start off with mind, body, soul. Let's take a look at you personally. Now we've got two cards. I don't want that. Taurus. There we go. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Well, that's not, we're not off to a good start. At the bottom, we have the five of wands. Okay, Taurus. Well, the one thing that is good about this is that it is a 10. So I feel like the worst is over. You are at the end of whatever this is. So we'll look further into it. Let me get all the other cards out. The next card is going to be Love and Romance. There's a divorce certificate here on <laughs> on this um, on this depiction of this of this um, particular card. So I don't know. Some of you may be going through a divorce. He's looking at a clock. So I don't know if you're waiting. Some of you could be waiting for a divorce to finalize, and. This could be stressing you out. It's like, I don't know. <coughs> I love and romance. We have the Nine of Pentacles Reverse. High Priestess. Hmm. That next card is going to be the Hermit, um, which is for corresponding to your um, career, career and finance. And we have the hermit. I really like that um, because the hermit is someone who is very wise. So, yeah, we'll look further into that. The next card is going to be your social circle, friends. What does Taurus need to know about that in 2024? What does Taurus need to know? Justice. And finally, Page of Swords regarding family. At the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, we're going to be using the Soul Journey Oracle card. Let's start off with that first card that we drew. Ten of Swords. 
courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, so obviously it's a difficult situation that you have been going through. Uh, and there is some courage. Okay, we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. At the bottom we have love. So, obviously, there was... Um, I mean, I just said that regarding a divorce. Obviously, it's not going to be that for all of you. But there was some kind of ending... Um, or major change that has taken a lot of your energy um, to deal with. Perhaps you felt as though this was a big failure in your life. And this, this change has taken a big toll. See what the cards have to say. King of Cups. Three of Wands. We have your card. We have the Hierophant in reverse. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Cards. We have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. At the bottom, again, we have the Four of Pentacles, just like we did here. Four of Pentacles. Okay. So whatever this was, Taurus, because the Hierophant is in reverse, your whole world has been turned upside down. Um... And I feel as though with the Three of Wands being there, again, there's a sense with the clock and everything, there, a cycle has closed, but it's like you haven't been able to move forward for whatever reason. You haven't been, I don't know, there's some type of blockage. Um, so with the Two of Swords is actually here as well. Okay, so maybe you're waiting for a decision. Um or it just simply could be a blockage because two of swords also sometimes, I, you know, I just see it simply as a blockage. There's a blockage of some sort, something that's stopping movement um, for you to actually begin that next cycle. Uh, and so this may be, you know, causing a lot of stress in your life, could be taking a toll on your physical body, on your, on your emotions, on you know, your mind, um, this anticipation. I feel like there's there's something good here on the horizon for you. You're dealing with this very well, well <laughs> believe it or not. You may not think that you are, but um, anybody who sees you can't tell what you may have gone through. 
if, if you sat down and told people, I feel, you know, what you've been through this past year, um, I don't know, maybe even past couple of years, past two years, past three years, um, I feel like people wouldn't believe it because they're, you know, the King of Cups has a lot of emotion. We have, we have the Ace of Cups here as well. So I feel like there's a lot of emotions here involved. But the King of Cups is very stoic. So he doesn't necessarily like wear his heart on his sleeve. He doesn't express all the emotions that he's feeling. And so even though you had probably just had, like I said, your world flipped upside down, people would just not know that about you. And so with the Ten of Wands being in the reverse, like I said, the worst is over. I, I do feel like you're on this precipice of starting some kind of new beginning where you're going to have, you're going to have the opportunity of this creative expression or this um, release of emotions, this release of energy um, that's going to be very healing for you. But I think it's very important for you to understand that this or, or, or to not see whatever it was that ended as a failure. It's, it was just a situation that was part of your growth process and something that you just need to leave behind. Okay. So that is that. Love and romance. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting here, um, this would be for someone who is single, but not necessarily someone who, and Taurus is ruled by Venus, so I'm getting here somebody who is not necessarily um, accustomed to being alone. This is not, it's not what you would prefer. Because if, if it was something that you prefer and that you love and you, you know, you absolutely enjoy, then it would be like this. But in the reverse, it's not what you prefer. So let me see. Kind of like a fish out of water. So I don't know, maybe... Some of you could be like newly out of a relationship and that's why you feel like a fish out of water. I don't know. Let's see what the cards say. Oh, okay. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I feel as though you're single right now. Because you're choosing to be, but it's not, it's not really what you want. It's because you're afraid. Because there's no shortage of opportunities or suitors or however you want to call it. You're holding yourself back because you're afraid to trust people. Somebody did you wrong. Ten of Swords is, can also be like a betrayal. So you may have been betrayed. You, Someone did you wrong and now the reason that you're single is because you don't trust. Let's see.
Five of Wands. Hmm, this is your energy. Empress, reverse. This one flipped. Magician. He came out in the upright, but then he flipped. I don't know. I'm going to put him sideways. There you, go. there you are again. The Hierophant reverse. The Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Pentacles reverse. So you have made some investments in people that did not pay off. You've put a lot of time into certain individuals that never gave back to you. And with the Five of Wands here, again, it's telling me that there's no shortage of people who actually may be wanting to compete for your attention. But with the Empress in reverse there, you're not being very warm and inviting. <laughs> you actually may feel like you have nothing to give. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands reverse, you, you're just not feeling very confident at this time. Because you're not trusting like I said, the magician was in the upright, but he flipped. He flipped into the reverse. Now, the magician can manifest whatever he wants. And, you know, interestingly enough, you have a card that says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. That's what this card is all about. But he flipped. It was in the upright and then he flipped which is kind of, you know, the, the, the whole thing that's what it's saying is it's not that you can't, it's not that you're having trouble finding someone to date or someone to be with. You could if you wanted to. You just choose not to manifest that because of the lack of confidence in, and I don't even feel like it's confidence in yourself. It's it's your lack of confidence in other people. Um, I'm even getting like with the Hierophant in reverse, it's your lack of confidence in relationships overall. Maybe you don't believe in relationships anymore. Maybe you don't believe in marriage anymore. Maybe you don't believe in like this, that traditional type of situation. Let's take a look at your um, finances and career. The Hermit. Ah, how many came out here? Well, two. Okay. Imagination. I embrace the... I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Growth, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Some of you could be on this, like, uh, really pursuing your soul purpose. Like, this is not, let me see, this is not, um, like, you might have your career, but this is like pursuing something that's very deeply meaningful to you that might not be. It might be separate from your career, which may then turn into a career. I don't know. Let's see. But this feels deeper. Two 
two of cups reverse. Seven of pentacles is flipped as well. Ten of wands reverse. Five of wands. Eight of wands. Do one more. Seven of wands. Okay. At the bottom we have the chariot. I feel like some, you know, there's two, three sevens here. Well, two sevens that came out and, and one seven here at the bottom. Some of you could be moving forward, like uh, moving away from what you're currently doing. Because you're realizing that that doesn't, it doesn't fulfill you. It doesn't speak to you. It's not, it's not what you're meant to do. And so with the two of cups in reverse, you might be ending some sort of business contract or what you had agreed to do, you know, before, because it's just, it goes against what, what makes you happy. It's just not, you're, you're, you're putting down some sort of burden like whatever it is that you're currently doing, you, you you don't enjoy it. You wake up each morning and it's not what you truly enjoy doing. You just do it because you feel like you have to. But it's in conflict with what you feel you were put on this earth to do. There's something here about, um, I don't know if some of you out there are wanting to pursue a career in, in like some kind of counseling position, um, like a therapist or there's something here about counseling. I don't know. People coming to you to, it's about communication I'm getting like crisis counseling. Or therapy. Somebody wants to help people uh, who are victims of like domestic violence as well. I'm getting. Whatever it is, you're planting the seeds now. You may not completely leave, although I see some of you, or a lot of you actually, um, leaving your, your current employment. Some of you may be leaving because, um, like, hostile working conditions, and so you, you're, you're just going to go. And if that's the case, just take it as a sign, you know, it's because you're meant to do something else. So what you do, the, the you know, wherever you leave and then what you do next is going to grow. It's going to be more beneficial for you. You'll be happier. But I'm getting strongly something about... Um, like a guidance, a, a counselor, um, and I don't know why I'm getting like domestic violence. Some, somebody wants to do something for others, 
who are victims of domestic violence. I don't know why I keep getting that. So, okay. Uh, social circles, friends. We have justice. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Hmm. Service. I feel good when I can help others. And acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Hmm. At the bottom we have envy. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. I don't, hmm, hmm, I'm very hesitant to, to say what I initially wanted to say, but there's something about karma here. I feel like you had a karmic friend or friends. Um where you were meant to come into each other's lives. Like there's an experience that was meant to be had, um, like mutual lessons had to be learned. And some someone's going to experience karma. And I feel like you needed to learn a lesson. You had to accept that somebody, one of your friends, someone in your social circle wasn't, just accept that they were not who you thought that they were. And that even though that was the case, that is a fact. You came into their life and they came into your life, but you came into their life to teach them something as well. Like you had something to teach them. Mm, the devil. There's karma written all over this. And the lover's in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Let me do one more. Four of 
cups. Yeah, so, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so there was definitely a karmic friendship here, a karmic connection that you had that was very unpleasant. You were dealing with somebody, for sure, for sure, I mean, there, there's it's no surprise that we had envy at the bottom. This was definitely an envious person. Um, very much so. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, just accept it for what it, what it was, what it is. This person, uh, I don't know what they may be going through. But like I said, there's karma. I mean, look at all these karmic cards. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have Justice. We have the Devil. We have the Lovers in Reverse. All major arcana. This is not a good combination. That This is not a good combination. I want to say this person is even like mentally unstable. Like envy, you know, there's envious people all around us. But this here combination, this is like, it goes beyond. Like this is, this is clinical. Um, so yeah. I can, I can understand this now. I, I see why the Ten of Swords, I see why. I can see, I can understand the trust issues. I see why. Because if it, if this is love and romance and this is friendship, well, goddamn. So, yeah, I mean, Lord. Mm. It, it has definitely affected your self esteem. Because you do possess these gifts, you have a lot to offer people. So it's like you wondered why, why all this? That's your reason, because you have a lot to offer people. And so the devil doesn't like that. If you are somebody who has a lot of light, expect that. Expect for people who carry a lot of darkness to be attracted to you. Like a, like a moth to a flame. Because they want to destroy that. Because they can't stand it. Because they will never have that. And that's where the envy comes in. Because they're like little trolls. And they could never be you. And so they feel like they want to, I'm getting here, like with this two of pentacles in reverse, I feel like this person, this page of pentacle, this person was like studying you. Like It's like they wanted to maybe switch, switch lives, switch destinies. There's some, I'm telling you, there's something unstable about this person. I would not worry about it because, like I said, karma is everywhere here. So don't even concern yourself with it because <laughs> look, I'm like, Ugh. all right. Family, we have the Page of Swords. Friendship. <laughs> I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. <sighs> I don't know what video it was that I I did. Um, it was this month, but I don't know who I was reading that I said 
even cockroaches have a purpose on this earth. Everyone, everyone you come across has a purpose. Um, even the dirtiest of the dirty, they have a purpose. So, I know what I am here to do. Hmm. Interesting. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. It is so true. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I can't help but to think that um, many of you may have had like too many people occupying your time and space. And taking it away from other people who probably deserved it more. Meaning your family, like people who really mattered. Um, and I feel like that's why this friendship card came out. Because there were people who were sucking energy, time, life force out of you. When it should have been directed toward others who deserved it more. So that was the purpose. There was a purpose to everything. And it may have been for you to open your eyes and see what truly matters or um, maybe to redirect you in, in a, to where you needed to be toward success. Ten of Wands, Reverse, Six of Pentacles. How interesting. Because Ten of Wands, Reverse is like unloading that burden. Unloading a burden. So you unloaded a burden, these unnecessary people, and found balance and harmony. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Six of Swords Reverse. Three of Swords. Look at that. Yeah. There was a King of Wands. Where did we see this guy? Was it here in the Friendship or was it here in the... Whichever it was. Whichever it was. I think it was here. Anyway, 
there was someone, this King of Wands person, the envious person. I think it was in the in the friendship social circle. This envious person was causing you stagnancy, was causing you heartbreak. This is what you needed to unload. This person may have been like family or may have been infiltrated in your family. But this is what you needed to get away from your family in order to bring peace. You, it's like you needed to fight back against this energy. I don't know who this person is, but it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or simply somebody who was very, like we were saying before, very envious, very jealous mentally unstable but this is this person was holding you back from your success from your happiness from your family this person was causing you all kind of burdens so hmm. good riddance to that my goodness all right, let's see, Taurus, final messages. If I tell you how much this reading resonated with me, you would be scared. Because this, this person was infiltrated in both areas so yeah I'm so glad I shuffle on camera because if I didn't shuffle on camera people would be able to say that I'm just making shit up and talking about them but nope I shuffle on camera all right, Taurus. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for 2024? Star. At the bottom, we have luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. I love that. Okay, so the first card we have is, is star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enth enthusiasm, and positivity. Mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. And we have thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So like I said, I feel like the worst is already over. Can you just sit back and relax? Probably not. You still have to be, you know, on your toes, on guard. But the worst is over. And you're almost there, Taurus. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.